全球经济、资本流动、地方保护主义、货币流通价值、市场剩余价值。机会成本、不动产、房地产、泡沫经济、风险、不良贷款、财政赤字、营销、股票市场、商业银行、出口、存款、道德风险、次贷危机。So when I was working my new album, The Secret Song, the pun was, yeah, it's albums are totally, utterly obsolete. Let's think about this as a collection of disparate singles that somebody might be coasting through Pandora or Last.fm, you know, these kinds of software co collating uh, sites. When you think about an album, it's usually meant as a coherent statement. But if you go back to the beginning of the record industry, so to speak, in the 20s, uh, they were much more about the single. So if you had a 78 vinyl, it only could hold so much data or information. So what ended up happening is most people would tailor their song to fit that. In fact, a lot of early records, the song would be like nine minutes long. Now, with digital media, we're going back to the single. The idea of a song, okay, what makes a song? A motif, a melody, a, a genomic function of rhythms, relationship to uh, the bass line, the keyboards, and all these kinds of things that are still eerily like old school, but they're all transforming. Let's look at the idea of the phonograph. If you're, if you're thinking about the idea of sound and interface, that's probably the most popularized image of how people think of recorded information. Now, to me, the issue as an artist wasn't that sound was a, a kind of democratized medium. That, that almost you take for granted after a century of people living what I like to call the culture of the copy. If everyone has the same records and had access to the same memories that those records invoke, then that's uh, a social sculpture in its own right. I mean, it's, it's people sharing and exchanging uh, recorded memories and social, you know, kinds of, for lack of a better word, some people would call it the social life of information. So, to me, records aren't, uh, they're not dead. I mean, they're, they're not dead media. What ends up happening is, uh, what gives them a sense of social vitality is the exchange process and regeneration process. The idea of just a passive consumer pressing play on a phonograph, which is literally most of the 20th century, um, what flips that on its head is, again, the iPod playlist issues, the issue that by being able to reach into the recordings and reach into the kind of process of distribution, the consumer uh, participates in a way that in the 20th century would have never been possible. But nowadays, everyone is their own radio station. Everyone has their own specific data set of songs that they want to relate to. There's listservs and websites and collating software, they all collaborative filtering to do the same mechanisms. If you like this song, you'll like that. But the DJ motif operates somewhere between that idea of selection process and, and, and sort of analysis of song um, and decoding things that people will relate to.